Welcome to our X-Crane Plus feature overview. In this video we will introduce you to the X-Crane Plus graphical user interface, and see how different setting changes affect crane behavior. The X-Crane electrical crane control system can be set up with three different licenses. Basic X-Crane, which includes traditional crane control. X-Crane Plus, with added parallel crane functions for traditional crane control. And X-Crane Pro, which includes all the previous control methods with the added feature of sensor-based tip control. The X-Crane Plus license, which will be featured in this video, gives you all the plus control modes in addition to traditional crane control. X-Crane Plus is typically used for cranes that lack sensors made for measuring boom position. The idea with X-Crane Plus is that the operator can control multiple crane movements by manipulating only one joystick axis. This will be shown later in different scenarios by utilizing Farming Simulator. Please note, that the example values given for the control parameters in this demonstration video serve as guideline values only. The crane manufacturer will always have to set the correct parameters for the machines. You should also note that the behavior of the movements performed with the simulator can be slightly different in real-world usage. Let's start by switching to the simulator, and taking a look at the graphical user interface settings for Rex Crane Plus. To choose your control mode press the button in the upper right corner of the display, and select between traditional control or the X Crane Plus control mode. Select the X Crane Plus mode which gives you three different operation modes to choose from. The first mode allows the lift boom and out to boom to be controlled by pushing or pulling the left hand joystick. This means that the regular crane boom is behaving like a parallel boom. Let's see what the crane movement looks like in the simulator. If the operator wants to slow down or speed up the lift room movement, it is done by pushing or pulling the right joystick. This control method requires you to manually control the extension with a thumb lever on the left joystick, like this. Moving on to the second control method, which is basically the same as the previous one but with an automated extension movement. The parallel boom movement is done by pushing or pulling the left hand joystick. If the operator wants to slow down or speed up the extension movement, it can be done by manually controlling the extension, like this. To slow down or speed up the lift room movement, push or pull the right hand joystick. The third and final control method enables controlling the lift room and extension by pushing or pulling the right joystick. If the operator wants to slow down or speed up the extension movement, it can be done by manual control. This control method requires you to manually control the outer boom by pushing or pulling the left hand joystick. We have now explored the three different control methods for Rex Crane Plus. Let's select the second control method to demonstrate the rest of the features. To check which control method you have selected you can take a look at the arrows next to the crane icon which indicate the automatically controlled parts of the crane. Let's continue with operator selection. Easily switch between operators by selecting the preferred one. Like the traditional control mode. X Crane Plus also lets you save individual settings for each operator. The quick trim in X Crane Plus functions in a different way compared to the traditional control mode. 
In traditional control mode, Quick Dream affects all crane movement speeds in relation to the speed balance parameter. In X Crane Plus, however, the automated movements directly follow the Quick Trim, whereas the other movements are based on the speed balance settings. Let's demonstrate this with Quick Trim set to 100%. Now let's adjust the quick trim to 50% and perform the same movement. Now we see that the speed is half of what it was previously. These slower speeds can be great in tasks which require more precision and care. Let's now take a look at movement speeds and settings. Tap the button in the lower right corner to access X Crane Plus settings. Here you can access the movement speeds which determine the behavior of the currently selected control method. You can also change the extension direction. The adjustments only affect the selected control method for the selected operator. Let's take a look at movement speed and see how the parameters affect crane behavior. Here you see the currently set values. Let's try operating the crane, and see how the crane behaves. Clearly now the crane is not behaving as it should, so let's adjust the values to fix the behavior. To change the value select the desired movement, and adjust the value with the multiplier, plus, and minus buttons. Let's try with these values now. Now the crane behavior looks much better. In reality the settings usually come pre-tuned from the manufacturer, and only require some minor adjustments from the operator. The last adjustable feature unique to X Crane Plus is extension direction. Here you can change the automated extension control direction in case you are used to controlling the extension in a non-standard way. Let's see what the movement looks like with the extension direction reversed, and then compare it to the normal control style. In addition to the adjustable settings we presented earlier, you can access the full array of parameters by tapping the crane settings button. Now you see the settings that are accessible under traditional crane control. Visible values in the crane settings menu are operator based which means that they are always the same regardless of the selected control mode. Following the crane settings we have joystick settings, diagnostics, and system settings. Like with crane settings, these are all operator based and remain the same regardless of control mode. To get a more in-depth presentation of the settings, please watch our X-Crane graphical user interface tutorial. We have now explored all functions and features of X-Crane Plus. The simulation parts were produced in Farming Simulator. More information about X-Crane Plus and our other products can be found on our website. Thank you for watching.